Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Curious Cuttlefish. Today we are going to be talking about Crafter's Secret Coffee. Since we are in the summer months, I thought I would do a series of different cotton reviews and I wanted to start with the Crafter's Secret Cotton. This is a cotton yarn that can be found at Hobby Lobby. And so here's the colorway I got. This one is called Bordeaux. And this cotton is 2.5 ounces or 71 grams. It is 120 yards. This is 100% cotton. They recommend you use a 5mm crochet hook or a 4.5mm knitting needles, um, also known as a US 7. I tend to go by grams and millimeters, but I know many of you will go by um, the US terms. So US 7 knitting needles and an H hook for this yarn. Um, so. I believe that many of you are familiar with a Lily Sugar and Cream, so I will be doing a, a swatch of that knitted and crocheted to compare to the various cotton yarns I will be talking about over the summer and reviewing. So I'm going to fast forward a, a day or two to give me time to knit and crochet with this, and then we can talk about it some more. So let's take a closer look at this cotton now that I have it worked up. Here is the dishcloth I made using it. This is a crochet pattern. I ran out, um, so I didn't have enough to do the border in the pattern, but I will have the links to these patterns in the description box beneath. So let's see if you guys can see the stitches there. It's a very simple stitch pattern, but I really like how this cotton worked up. It was very easy to work with. I really like the color. Um, no problem frogging it. It didn't split while I was working with it. Um, crocheted very well. And then I also did a knit washcloth or dishcloth. So here's the knit pattern. And this one worked up very quickly as well. I'm very happy with this. It knit very well. I didn't have any problems with splitting. I actually had a section of this that I had to tink, which is where you pull out your knitting. Um, I had miscounted some stitches. So there is the knit dishcloth. I will have links to both of these patterns in the description box beneath if you are interested in making them. They worked up fairly quickly, um, especially since I do not knit much and I'm still learning. So, sorry for the background noise. <laughs> Mr. Cuttlefish is home. So, anyways. Um, yes, this yarn knit up very well. It did very well with crochet. I would say that this is um, good for mainly dishcloths and bags, placemats. I would not use this type of cotton for clothing. I don't feel like it's soft enough. Um, it's definitely more of a for around the home type use, um, not for garments, but very good for like I said, bags, dishcloths, washcloths, um, placemats, coasters, any of that, blah. Any of those types of projects would be good with the Crafter's Secret Cotton. And so, um, this is what I got out of one ball. I got a larger crochet and, um, like an average sized knit. So you could get probably two, um, if 
two crocheted ones if I made them this size. This one's um, much bigger. And knit, I would say you could probably get two and a half of these dish cloths because knitting doesn't use as much yarn as you use when you crochet. So I really like this cotton. I would purchase it again when it's on sale. I'm not one to purchase yarn when it is regular price. I just don't like spending that much money on it. This one on the label, it was $2.29 um, regular price. I believe I used a 40% off coupon when I purchased this, so it was slightly cheaper. But um, yes, I do recommend this cotton. Um, I will be doing peaches and cream, sugar and cream um, in the future just so that I can compare these side by side and tell you which one I liked working with better. And um, yes, I will slowly go through dishcloth cottons. I'm just... <laughs> As I learn to knit, I will learn to knit faster, and it's very fun to be able to do dishcloths because it allows me to try out new patterns and um, stitches that I haven't done before. So that is my review on the Crafter's Secret Cotton. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this review, please hit the like button and subscribe if you have not yet subscribed to my channel. I so enjoy making these videos for each and every one of you. I hope that you find them very informative and you learn something new. I always do whenever I do these. So um, thank you for watching my videos and I will see you guys later this week. Bye.